Hey guys, as you can see here, I have a newly built relay case. The only new thing about this whole thing is uh, this locking mechanism. There, the old parts are all inside. I'm gonna show you this once I unlock it. But first, basic go around. Um, basically, it's just like a normal relay case, but it's mounted on a pole. Um, has a spotlight right here, which indicates that it's active. Um, I just did this for fun because it really looks cool when it glows. So I'm gonna show that in a little bit. Um, so now I'm gonna unlock this lock. So here we go. Lock it. Now I just need to twist this to open. And there we go. It's open. Um, as you can see here, there was like an old mechanism. This was part of it. This was the handle. It used to go right here, but through the other side. And then there would used to be like another handle right here. If you can check out my community post, um, there was I actually did show partial of the interior, and this handle was still there. And this was to go through here, so it would lock. But this is just basically here. This was also like adjusted by some nuts right here too. Um, we have a battery first of all. This is the normal battery by Duracell, 12 volts. And I put these two screws here so the battery doesn't fall out. This one, however, is kind of like you know loose, but this one is still sturdy. Um, we have the broken pinnacle here. This fell off when I was trying to carry it when I was trying to do another attempt with the video. So it's supposed to be like this. You need to glue that back together if I have the chance to do so. Um, pretty much there's a bunch of wiring over here. The battery connects to the switch, which connects these lights. These lights we got from the auto shop, and they are uh, blinker lights, I think they are. They're kind of, I think they're incandescent. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you the guys the lights. So basically you light this up. This is pretty bright since I charged the battery last night. And um, you can see it illuminates the entire inside. So it's really, really well. It really, really well lit so I can work with the wiring and if I need to um, at night or something like that. I don't know. I just did this for fun because it's like a really cool project and I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. Um, so then we have the relay switch right here, which doesn't do anything just yet. We have a car alternating relay, which we bought for $30, but um, I haven't wired that up yet. We have wired it up, but, um, it's, uh, the wiring kind of got messed up, so I need to rewire that and, uh, put it on the main signal. The main signal right here is just a pole. We just have some concrete mix for now, and we're gonna attach the mechanism tomorrow. Um, we already have the, all the supplies needed, like the hinges and all that. By the way, this is gonna be used for the mechanism. Um, uh, uh, spoilers alert, I'm gonna be making a Harman gate mechanism, which is probably a very rare gate mechanism. We're gonna get a jigsaw tomorrow, or if we can, get it from my uncle's house. Then. Anyways, um, we're gonna cut out the shape of the counterweights and pretty much the whole thing for tomorrow, which is gonna be making the mechanism box. Um, so, pretty much that's it. Um, we have this, oh, the spotlight. Forgot to show you guys the spotlight. Look how bright that is. It's clearly visible. Like, I took it out at night, and uh, it's actually really, really bright. It's really nice because of all these uh, reflective little ridges over here. This just illuminates the light. That's why I kind of picked the bottle cap because it's like really, really good at illuminating stuff. Um, anyways, uh, forgot to mention anything more. Oh, the clamps. The clamps, um, I'm gonna turn the lights off to save the battery. Um, let me just turn this around. You can see the uh, clamps, they're mounted through the inside. There's some bolts inside. We tightened them really, really tight so they wouldn't fall down. This, this slipped down, so we just rotated it. The box was hot glued, and uh, we spray painted it with silver paint to make it look more realistic. And this does look way better. Anyways, we have the pinnacle. The, the original pinnacle was mounted over here. I tried to attach it with a screw, as you can see with uh, this thing. Oops. Well, that fell off. Um, anyways, you can see I tried to drill through it. Um, not much luck because it's shattered. So I'm gonna need to reprint that. Plus, there's a wiring hole over here. Anyways, um, I think that's it. Not sure if, not sure if that's it, but I'm gonna bring in the lights so you guys can take a look at them in, uh, in, in the next shot. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this up and uh, actually no, I need a battery to power the lights. So I'm gonna go get the lights. As you can see, I have this truck light looking thing. It's kind of, it kind of looks like a gate light, but not really since it doesn't have the triangular uh, holes, except for the top and uh, sides. Um, actually, this is the top. This is made by Blazer, as you can see. We got this from a local auto store. 
for 12 bucks. We have two of these, and we're planning to get gate lights to them, but not exactly the size of this. Um, it's made by Blazers, you can see right here on the thing. I think I already showed that. And, um, yeah, nothing else. It just says like a bunch of gibberish on the bottom. Anyways, I'm going to power this on. This is 12 volts. And uh, we have another vehicle relay somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but here we go. Light's actually pretty bright, and look, it fades off, so this is actually incandescent. This is how it would flash. Oops. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and stay tuned for the next project. Bye.